Sarah with the Volusia County Public Library System, coming to you today from the Ormond Beach Regional Library. And on today's episode of Volusia Gets Crafty, I'm going to show you how to make this heart bookmark. It's beginner friendly and it primarily uses double crochets and chain stitches. And it's also going to introduce one new, ch new stitch called the triple crochet. It's also sometimes called a treble crochet. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this project. I also want to encourage you to check out our collection of crochet books at volusialibrary.org or come on into one of our branches and we'd be happy to show you right where they're located. So whenever you're ready, grab a hook and some yarn and let's go get started. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to make the heart bookmark. So it's going to start with a magic circle and I did a separate video for that so if you want to go back and watch that. Did you know that there's a way that you can slow down the video speed? On the lower right hand corner of your screen there's a little gear icon that's called settings. If you click on that you can choose playback speed and you can slow it down to the decimal ones. It'll slow down my video. I'll sound really funny which you'll get a laugh at but it might be helpful for you especially when you're learning a new technique like the magic circle. So give that a try if you want to. But I'm going to use the second method I showed in that video. So I'm going to hold two inches of yarn tail from my left hand and then I'm going to pull my right hand towards me and put that loop on top of the other one. The working yarn is going to go behind that circle. Then I'm going to reach through and grab that working yarn, put it over top of my two fingers, and I'm going to go behind it and grab that working yarn one more time and pull it through the loop on my, hook, on my fingers. I'm going to hold on to that slip knot I just made and pull on the working yarn to make that a more manageable size and I'm going to put my hook into that space. So there's our magic circle. I'm going to pull on the tail to make my circle a little smaller. I find it easier to work with for me, but you use, you know, make it whatever size you want. If you want your circle bigger, pull on the circle. It'll make it bigger. What we're going to do is start by chaining up three. And the very first stitch that we're going to start with is a new stitch. It's called the triple crochet. And how you do that, it's very similar to a double crochet, but you're going to, instead of yarning, o yarning over your hook once, you're going to yarn over your hook twice. You're going to go into the center of the circle and you're going to pull up a loop. So you'll have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and then yarn over, pull through the third two loops. So you yarned over and pulled through three times, hence the triple crochet. We're going to do three more triple crochets into the center of the circle. So we'll get some practice. Yarn over twice, go into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. So there's two trebles, or triple crochets. It's also called a treble crochet. So there's two of them. Let's do another one. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And one more, yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Four triple crochets. Now we're going to do one you're more familiar with. We're going to do four double crochets into the circle. So just yarn over once and do your double crochet. And we're going to do four of them. And then we're going to do one more triple crochet. So yarn over twice, go into the circle, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So there's the first half of our heart bookmark. Now we're going to do the reverse side of it, so the mirror image. So we just did, we had the four, four double crochets, we're going to do four more into the center of the circle. So one, there's two, three, and four. And then we're going to do four triple crochets. So yarn over twice, go into the center, pull through two, two, two. So there's your first one. We'll do three more. two, all right, 
So there's our triple crochet. And then what we're going to do is slip stitch into the center of the circle. So just insert, pull up a loop with your working yarn, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then what we're going to do is make the magic circle do its magic. So we're going to take your tail and you're going to give it a tug and it's going to cinch in the center of that circle. Just like that. And then we're going to make the tail part of the bookmark. So if, you, if you're still attached here, which hopefully you are, you're going to take your working yarn and you're going to chain up 30, I found to be a nice length for a bookmark. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll let you keep going and meet me back here in just a second with 30 chains and I'll show you how to finish off. Okay, so I've just completed my 30 chains I'm going to chain one extra and then fasten off the work. And then that'll make, that'll knot it at the end. And then what I'm going to do is take a couple more strands of yarn, a nice size length because you can always make these smaller, but I'm going to make a little tassel for the end of the bookmark. So what I'm going to do is I'll go into the very last chain I made can get under a couple of the loops and then what you're going to do is just kind of fold these over and pull both of those strands through that chain so you've got like a loop of those and then this is kind of kind of tricky make a nice big loop because you're going to yarn over and try and pull all those through those loops and it makes a cute little if you pull it tight it makes a cute little tassel if this one is sticking out funny, you guys, you can take a, a needle and thread it back, back through the middle of, of this um, tassel you just made. And it will, I think I kind of, it frayed it on me. Um, but yes, you can just stitch it through the center and it will lay a little bit better. And you can trim it too, if you find that your tassel is a little bit too long to your liking. Now with a magic circle, it should stay cinched tight, but if you're concerned, you can weave in your end and work it around the circle again and pull it tight again and it will definitely stay in place then. Okay, but I'm just gonna fasten off from here. And that is your heart bookmark. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can check out more like it on Volusia Library's YouTube channel. Up next, I'm going to show you how to make a heart candle holder. And spoiler alert, if you've watched my previous Granny Square video, you already know how to do the bulk of this project. So I hope you'll join me for the fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.